Madam Chair, I'll just summarize what I said the other night. Um, Board of Selectmen are taking action in the correct direction. And I, and I appreciate that they're moving in the, in the right direction with this warrant article. The problem really arises from 1999 to 2000, there was a warrant article passed to put 100% of the franchise fees into the cable TV fund. But just a few years ago, when a certain citizen went to the Board of Selectmen prior to the meeting beginning, before the cameras started rolling, and putting out to them that their behavior was inconsistent with that law, and they were only spending about 30% of the time, that citizen was then told by the selectmen, who were no longer present on the board, that they would have to fix it. They subsequently fixed it by not changing their behavior to conform with the law, but rather changing the warrant article to conform with their behavior. Subsequently, that vote was passed at the uh, urging of the selectmen, of course, and now it's only 25%, I believe the number is presently, that's going into the cable TV fund. The other 75% is, in effect, a sales tax. A sales tax is when you tax something at a retail transaction and place that revenue into the general fund. And that is exactly what 75% of this alleged franchise fee is, is a sales tax. This particular warrant article seeks to reduce that abusive sales tax from 75% to 60%, and that is moving in the right direction. A couple of selectmen actually indicated that it, that it wasn't exactly the most uh, palatable vote to take. In fact, selectman Waddle flat out said it was wrong. And selectman Waddle's right, in my opinion. It's wrong to be putting a sales tax in New Hampshire, even if it is legal. That is, in fact, what's going on here. And the argument that was being made was that perhaps the selectmen ought to reconsider wording on this, especially now given that his, what has taken place since that vote was, of course, the outage in, in the uh, cable TV that you've all experienced in the past week. In my opinion, that, that outage that we've been experiencing is a result of a lack of funding and that lack of funding is a result of the fact that we're only putting in 20% of the fees into the cable TV fund. Three years ago, there was, for a brief time, a selectman's IT committee, in which there was a similar outage at that time. And that IT committee strongly recommended, fought for behind the scenes, silently, no, almost no one except those who were fighting against it know about, that we urged them to every critical piece of equipment in that room have redundant backup. We did secure that redundant backup eventually, but when SAU 90 put forth a very good argument that they should have uh, their, their own channel, that the, and the cable TV recommended that, that they give them their backup equipment for this particular device that failed, they also recommended that they buy another piece of replacement equipment. Now, the selectmen chose not to buy that replacement piece of equipment. And I believe the reason they did was because they were trying to save the fund from going too low in its dollar amount. The risk of it going too low was, in fact, a risk that was realized because we weren't putting 100% of the fees into the fund. And that is why, uh, well, I think moving from 25% percent into the fund to 40 percent of the fund is an improvement. It's still, as Selectman Wall said, wrong to not put it all in. Well, he didn't say not put it all in, but I'm adding that piece. Because otherwise it's a sales tax. And so that's why the, our argumentation at the Budget Committee was that the Selectman reconsider this and, and make it 100 percent. I don't believe we actually voted on that. We did vote on the warrant as it stood, and I abstained, and you all enjoyed a good ballot after that. Thank you, Madam Chair. All right, thank you. All right. Jerry. Right. Yeah, the real answer here, and we can't do it with this warrant article, is to just take from the people what we really need to run the PEG channel. That's public education and government. You know, whatever it is, if it's 100000 or 150000 that's what the fee should recommend. Nothing should go into general revenue.
can't do it with this article. We have to take a step first uh, forward, I think, with this article. But next year, there should be another article here to get this whole thing calibrated and straightened out. And if it takes uh, uh, Comcast a, a year or two or three to uh, recognize uh, uh, the uh, change in, in their contract, fine. They can sidebar it. In the meantime, they should only take what we need. If it's 2% instead of 4, take 2% instead of 4. Tim's right with his tax uh, 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 applicability. Thank you. Okay, we're all set for a vote now. <coughs> we're all called down the end of the table, starting with Nick. Brado in the affirmative. Blair. <coughs> Here's. Uh, Robbins. Zanoy. Lapham. Vladimir. LaBranche. Club. Olaf. Blair. <coughs> Okay, to the negative. To all those opposed? Abstentions. Nickerson. Jones. Opposed. Abstention. If you need a favor, no disfavor this. Sandy, did you say negative? No, abstention. No, no, no. 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 Negative. no. In negative. Negative. Okay. One negative. So I have a vote of 12, 1, 1. Right. This article will be recommended in ballot. This recommend will go down to recommended by the Budget Committee. Right. Thank you for the clarity. Does anybody want to speak on this one article? Jim. Jim, excuse me. Jim Waddell. Not Waddell. <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Jim. Forgive me, Jim. I keep doing that, and I don't intend to, and I apologize. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say just very quickly that <clears throat> the Channel 22 does such a great job, and that they really would need that extra money with the extra channel. So I really hope people support this. And I do support next year coming back with a, a different Warren article to change how this whole funding is taking place, because it is a tax on people. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we have town council in the room. Can I ask a, a legal question? Would it be correct at deliberative to change, it, to change the percentage? Yes. I know yes. we can change dollars, but does the percentage change the intent? No. Uh, that's uh, a good question. That 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 question is always of interest. That's why and I'm you get you. a different you get, get a different interpretation depending on what it does. If you change the percentage to something that eliminates the uh, what's going on, uh, that could probably be deemed a, a significant uh, reversal, and therefore would not be um, valid. And we'll the moderator would probably rule that out of order. If you ch if you differ with the percentage a little bit to go up that's something else again it really depends on what the amendment would be so something that would not necessarily change the war and article just adjust a number right well if you made adjusting a number in other words no, all no, or nothing might be bounced out but changing Correct. the number or percentage Madam may Chair. be acceptable just a question i'm not going to open it's, that it's up it's more to likely right to be found to be valid Madam i just thought while well, you were accessible to us sure. i'm going to ask you that question thank Madam you very much for that Madam Chair, if i may ask the town attorney Sure. Because uh, I do intend on making the motion at the leader's session. Um, so what I'm hearing from you is that a motion such as changing it to 99.99% would be quite sufficient, but 100% might be too extreme. No, it's, it's, it's a matter of judgment, and really you'd want to... Check uh, with the moderator in advance, think about basically. It. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good point. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Sure, thank you. Okay.